Cattle breeders in the southeast have announced plans to set up ranches in the region. The coordinator of the Southeast Association of United Farm Products, Traders and Livestock Dealers of Nigeria, Godwin Obasi, disclosed this on Friday when members of the association paid a courtesy visit to their national patron, James Ugu, to congratulate him over his election as secretary, People's Democratic Party, Southeast Zone. Obasi said members of the association were already sensitized to set up ranches to be able to supply enough livestock in the region. He noted that the Southeast had the capacity and land to produce enough, good, enough food for local consumption and for export, adding that it could not afford to rely on others perpetually for its food needs. He said, we must produce what we eat. We are looking at a point in our lives when we shall be producing massively for exports. This is why the campaign within our association is organic farming so that our products will be accepted across the board. Also speaking, the PDP Southeast Secretary, Ugu, who was also the first chairman of Udenu Local Government Council in Enugu State, urged governors in the Southeast to initiate policies and programs that will promote agriculture. He said, I believe that the governors are aware that there is a need for food security in the region. Given what happened at the onset of COVID-19, everybody came to realize that access to food is important. Without food or a garden around your house, you are in trouble. That thing which you think money could buy, that money could not buy it at that time. Ugu added that he would use his new position in the PDP to enhance the activities of the association to ensure food sufficiency in the region. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? It said that uh, the cattle breeders in the southeast are planning to set up ranches, which is a good one. These are not Fulani headsmen, as it were, but these are indigenous cattle breeders who see cattle or who have invested or who feel that their investment in cattle breeding is what it and that is what they probably are doing as business so you can see that if more people are uh, you know take to cattle breeding in the south east the south south to a very large extent the northerners would be outsmarted or are beaten out of the market so they would have needs to come and be insisting on ranching in the southern part of the country because why are they ranching? They should go. We don't need their ranches. Sorry, why are they uh, grazing? I beg your pardon. We don't need their grazing. If enough people in the south are into uh, ranching, as it were, cattle breeding, and they are ranching other goats, um, sheep, as it were, and uh, cattle, of course, the south will be food sufficient. And that is what it is. It will be better that way and it will stay it will go a long way i stand to be corrected if i'm wrong but that is to very large extent the best way to go about these things indigenous people will have to take agriculture serious they have to take cattle breeding serious they have to take all these things very very seriously because these are ways that we can get better these are ways that we can do well these are ways that you know people can make sure that food security is achieved in the southern part of the country and we cannot rely on the northerners so that whenever they decide like the other day that they decided to stop the uh, transportation of food from the north to the south before you know it 
they will be at be the ones losing because we would have enough we would have enough food to supply our people and that is the idea and that is how it should be I stand to be corrected if i am wrong but you know that truly and truly what we need at this particular point in time is food security it doesn't matter how we see it it doesn't matter what we say so establishing ranching to a very large extent would also you know go about kicking against um kicking against open grazing because the headsmen are insisting that they want to graze in the south knowing fully well that the southerners are against grazing but if the indigenous people are ranching the Fulanese cannot come and say they want to graze because on what grounds are they grazing? You can see that it would kick against their plants and their plot against the people and against the indigenous people of the southern part of the country. So it is what it is. People should be encouraged to go into, grand, into uh, ranching as it is. Buy land, rent land, lease land and all what have you. And that is just what it is. If you can do that, and if we can get that, then to a very large extent, it will go a long way, you know, to uh, help us achieve food security in this part of the world. What are your thoughts concerning this particular new story, as it were? So it's a welcome development, personally, if you ask me, you know, so that we need to push this northerners, this full enhancement out of the southern part of the country, because the sole and the main aim at the end of the day is to capture the land, is to ensure that they take over. And that cannot be allowed to happen. That will not be the best for the southerners. So people should not, you know, allow cattle breeding into uh, to be the sole business of the northerners. Anybody can go into cattle breeding. The other day, it was reported in the news that AKT imported some pregnant cows for all the way from Brazil. So you can see that it's another level. Other state governments can also invest in such, and other wealthy individuals can as well do the same thing, and it will go a long way to speak and uh, uh, help you know in the aspect of food security. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.